22nd of October 2020 and it doesn't feel any different than we felt yesterday especially as regards the violence that have been occurring in the state of Nigeria. Today we'll be talking about the COVID-19 palliatives that were discovered in Maza Maza area in Lagos and Yes, we'll talk about that. President Barry has also addressed the people of Nigeria and that's something we'll take as well. We'll also talk about another set of COVID-19 palliatives that were found in the Oba of Lagos Palace and many more developing stories. Welcome to Trends and Opinions. Stay with me. So late today we had uh, Boo Boo and Buhari trainer number two and that's as regards the speech that he put out condemning... <laughs> Condemning the act of violence and saying a whole lot, a whole lot. I'm not even going to touch Boo Boo because I know it's just pure crude. So I'd like to take something from Buhari. My God, what was that speech? Buhari paid tribute to officers that lost their lives during the protest and not peaceful protesters that lost their lives or more. That president's Buhari speech and a waste of, wow. Buhari mentioned no single thing about the, yeah, this one I noticed and it was quite painful. I was expecting something as regards the Lekki massacre or the shootings that happened at Lekki, but um, nothing. We are doomed. Buhari addressed Nigerians and he did not say, yeah, this is something people are definitely going to go on about. So people are generally in shock as regards the statement and the stuff he said in this speech. I am too. Like, I don't know. I just expected so much. Well, moving on to the early trends. COVID-19 are number one and that's because of the videos that have been going viral, especially where we saw Nigerians who discovered the warehouse that was filled with COVID-19 palliatives. We don't know for sure who stored them or how it got there, but I know for sure that people were really hungry during the period of COVID-19 and this would have gone a long way. Let's check it out. The person who found these warehouses is the father Christmas of the year. I bought this particular COVID-19 Indomie for 2,200 naira two months ago. Someone sold palliatives to me. Meet the woman topping the Forbes list of COVID-19 palliatives. She's worth over 20 cartons of Indomie. You guys and crews though. Mm -hmm. See, see my house. So my house don't fool. Hell. <laughs> Mado. <laughs> okay, to Oba of Lagos, it's still the same COVID-19 palliatives that were found in this palace. They went to invade the Oba of Lagos palace and found huge COVID-19 palliatives, food that he refused to share to people. He's not hungry, he's not poor, he's not deprived, he doesn't need palliatives, but he bothered it all the same. This is just cold, blatant wickedness. And that's why you have palliative, warehouse, maza maza, hunger, greed, and wickedness at number five and six. So we have Photoshop. Photoshop is trending because the Nigerian army have come out to say that the videos that went viral as regards the lucky massacre were actually photoshopped no words guys up to this morning before i came here i even got analysts people that have analyzed the various uh, videos that we are cropped that what we call it that we are photo photo photoshop put together Dear Generation Old, you cannot photoshop Instagram live. Your analyst has forewarned denied you, sir. There is no sense in denying or lying about something watched live by over 100,000 people. You cannot photoshop an Instagram live video that was on for over one hour. Guru is trending for a very sad news and that's because the violence also ensued in that environment. Early on today, some thugs came to attack Guru markets but Indigo came out to defend their territory. They are killing people in Guru. By the way, please let's tone down on the fake news and unverified information that you put out you don't even have to retweet if you're not sure of what you're putting out so please please and please and so this is all for today this is one of the saddest episodes i've got to do in recent times and i hope it gets better i hope things tone down and the government also does more to answer the people and the youth but for now au revoir my name is becca good night